up, you little dirty dog? I have a proposition. I am a starting channel. I understand that. I'm in like my third week of starting this YouTube channel. And it's, uh, it's about time to take some risks. I will shave my legs if this gets 50,000 views. You have my word, you have my pinky promise. I promise you I will if this video gets 50,000 views. <sighs> <laughs> to be honest, I used to be in swim team like when I was really young. I never was that hardcore to actually like shave my arms and legs. I was just a little kid and didn't have hair on my legs at that time and now I do. If this gets 50,000 views, I will literally post another video of me actually shaving my legs. I'll probably have friends over and we'll make a party of a shaving leg party frick far frick farty far, frick frick yeah that'd be a super weird party make like a facebook event shaving legs of goose this is freaking weird anyways i thought i would share some advice i've learned just in these few weeks of starting a youtube channel and just some advice on success i think as a starting channel it's so freaking hard to gain like your first 100 subscribers for sure i totally understand that the sub for sub thing is tempting and i just made a video about when people say follow me or subscribe to me it's so annoying i don't think that's a great way to grow a channel and if you think about the type of people that are actually going to follow you and subscribe to you it's probably not the kind of followers you want anyways save yourself the time and freaking compliment people interact with people watch other people's videos it takes a lot of time but i think it's truly worth it if you want to build a true audience that's actually going to be a fan of you and support you and literally just be your friend Okay, look at your freaking analytics in YouTube. It, they like lay it out, it's really easy in Video Manager. If you don't know your target audience, you can use your analytics to figure out at least what target audience is working until you dial in on what you want your target audience to be. And it'll tell you the demographics, like male or female, and it'll show the age range. Super helpful. If you think about that while you create your videos, you will be more successful over time. Also, this one is huge. Have a freaking goal that isn't more money and fame. Basically, everyone wants to be famous and rich. What other mission do you really believe in and are passionate about and passionate about? Passion passionate about and could envision yourself doing for the rest of your life or even just for this season you don't think too big otherwise it gets really stressful i would focus on that goal if you don't love making videos or whatever mission it is that you're driving home find that passion that you truly do have do that now and save yourself the time and save your viewers the time too please <laughs> another huge one freaking work Hard. If you want to grow your channel super fast, work harder than everyone else's. Literally, YouTube, how to grow a channel fast. Watch all the tutorials out there. There's a lot of crap and there's a lot of good stuff. You can make some educated decisions by knowing as much as you can on it. It'll be super helpful. Google it or YouTube it if you don't know where to start. Consistency. I think this is literally one of the most important things with YouTube. Easy way to get consistent views that'll always be there as long as you're posting and you have to hold your end of the bargain there. Do it. Just do it! Work hard. The last big piece of advice I have that I'm super passionate about is find out what success means to you. For some people, it's literally a monetary amount. For others, it's literally just being able to make a living doing what they were doing. That was my dream for so long. I just wanted to be able to play drums for a living. I hit that goal. Once I hit that goal, I had a new goal. And it's super fun on the way to the next goal. Another one that I've literally been keeping you updated with is my fitness challenge. Let's put my uh, embarrassing selfie of the day right here. I still have my goal of a raging six pack by December 3rd. Update on that. I started working out at the YMCA and like lifting weights and such. Oh boy. I'm honestly a workout noob and I've hurt myself like two out of the six times I've gone on working out so there's that but i'm working towards my goal and it's getting better and i've been eating so freaking healthy i had a, like a banana and a cucumber and some chips this morning it was great i hope this is super helpful if you're starting a youtube channel or just looking to find success in your life and be happy don't forget to like and subscribe to the most goose you've ever seen what up <laughs> all right keep it real oh frick. keep it real fam i'll see you next time peace out